welcome back. This is Laura from Lottie Jasmine Design. We're gonna got another video for you today on coasters. So you'll have seen this mold before, beautiful textured coaster mold. And then the mold to the left is the stand that you can make for them obviously to stand up in. We're also gonna use uh, some of the Polar White Vista pigment and some beautiful Arteza mica powders. I'm gonna show you the different colors I'm gonna use. Just get a quick run through of me just painting this first mold with the mica powder. This is the light gold colour. It's absolutely beautiful. Looks different in different lights as you'll see as it catches the light, the reflection. And then here, this is the same mold, but it looks almost like I've put none on. So the other uh, three we're going to use is pure gold, which is a much richer, deeper colour. And then more of an orangey gold, Aztec gold. And then the yellow gold, which is a nice, beautiful, deep colour. And then the one I've just used, that one there, was the light gold. All from Arteza, beautiful Michael, mica powders from there. Moving on to the next mould then. So this is a time lapse of me painting the moulds with the mica powders. It's picking up all the details. This looks a little bit like maybe an animal skin, although I don't like to think about that too much. Um, it's beautiful the way it's picking up all the segments of the mould, um, the patterning, the outlining of the segments where the, where the colour seems more concentrated. And then this next one here, obviously in a different colour gold, um, is the reverse, I think, of the previous mould. Um, I'm never sure if it's convex. Converse, convex, oh I don't know. Anyway, we're painting away here with the mica powders. Really just, I love using mica powders in this way. Uh, I suppose it reminds me of doing painting. And then this fourth one here, beautiful again, almost like, I don't know if it's, reminds me of bark on a tree, perhaps. Oh, getting all poetic there. Uh, so here we are with a close-up of what they look like. That one does look very, very pale. And then a slightly deeper colour gold. Pale again. And then the deeper again. So we've dusted all of those thoroughly. Gonna, I, What you don't see on camera is I do turn the mould over, give it a bit of a tap. So here is the other mould uh, for the stand. Those are the four colours that we use. Now, I do actually fill up the mould with um, some of the resin, which I'm showing you here now. Now, this is the white, uh, polar white Vista pigment in clear resin. And then each of the mica powders relevant to each of the moulds has been mixed in with it. I know they all look exactly the same. It's like, how many shades of white can you have? This is almost like how many shades of cream can you have? Um, anywho, um, here we go. We're just pouring it carefully into the moulds. This is sped up slightly. I do normally pour resin into moulds a lot slower than this. So just need to make sure with these ones that you do fill into all the little compartments, trying to ensure that the fewest or no air bubbles, preferably, get trapped. So that's two done. This is the third one. This I think this might be my favourite one. I don't know. I think it might be my favourite, perhaps. But as you can see, look, we've almost got three different shades of cream colour there going on. And then this is the final one. This is the lightest one. There we are. Just pouring it in slowly, gradually. It'll uh, reach the edges. There we are. Got a few bubbles there going on. So what I'm going to do in this shot, I've taken the micro brush. Again, another one of my favourite little things to have to hand. I'm just going around the edges of the moulds. I do do it to all four of them, although you're only going to see two, me doing two on camera. There you are. I'm just getting a few rid of a few obvious ones. So this is a good 12 hours later. Demolding each one. This has been sped up slightly. I do normally demold a lot more carefully than this. So these were still a little bit pliable at this point. We resin we use, um, I think for this one might have been J Diction, might have been Vista One, perhaps. But it was all the molds that we, all the uh, resin that we use is a one to one ratio when it comes to mixing. So that's by volume and by weight. So there we go. That is the fourth one out of the mould. So demo. Oh, wow. 
So I love this. It's got a bit of a mottled look to it. However, what I'm not in love with is the air bubbles that you can see they've got trapped. There's rather a large one there and a few others. Really not very happy with that, um, as I'm pointing out. Excuse the state of my fingers. <laughs> um, I've been doing lots of work with my hands that day. Um, nearly need a bit of TLC. Uh, we can actually, we can either leave this, this one as it is or go back in and try and try and correct it. But I don't know, I, I haven't made my mind up. But I love the way the gold's picked up on the edges there as well. So here's the second one. Whoa. So this one was my favourite. And I don't know where that little dark mark there, a little flake of something must have been in the mica powder but then got a lot paler on the edge on this one but I think that is gorgeous and then the third one coming up wow this was the one I thought reminded me of the bark of a tree perhaps I mean obviously put your comments as to what you think it reminds you of um, but I love the way it catches the light. I love the mix of the colours, the fact you can see some of the resin where I've not covered all of the mould. Uh, that was intentional. Unfortunately, we've got a few air bubbles on this one that got trapped again. I think I'm just going to leave them rather than try and repair them. And this was the final one. Again, we've got two, three rather obvious air bubbles. Um, going to have to try this again, I think, using a solid colour and see what happens, see if I get the same issue. But I absolutely I adore this one too. This is of the palest of the palest golds. Looks like folds of fabric, absolutely adore these. So this is it then, uh, the final picture of all four of them together. As I say, I did do the holder there. Thanks for tuning in. Uh, please like, share and subscribe and take care everyone and goodbye.